how did you get started? Um, the Beatles, to be honest. Um, I, t- I tell a story in a few podcasts, a podcast that I've been on and stuff like that. That tell for us. Um, obviously, what one day I was, me and I was cooking a Sunday dinner. I was in my nan's. I was playing with my toys. Uh, she had the Beatles film on. It was either Help or Hard Days Nights. Can't remember. How old were you? Five, six, Aww. maybe. Yeah. Uh, and I paint me between. She went down, she went round into the kitchen to check the the the, the Yorkshire puddings or the roasties, and we come back round. I was just trees with, and I was mesmerised by the telly and the Beatles, and then Aww. that's why I went to the learn a learn a guitar like John Lennon. So yeah. And did you get lessons? Did you teach yourself? Yeah, so I, I had lessons in a place called Presto Music on Edge Lane first, in in obviously Liverpool, um, and yeah, so I started the guitar there then. About a year later, I started the drums there as well. Oh, did you play the drums as well, Ryan? Yeah. I didn't know that. I did the piano, piano as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Triple threat. Who do you think <laughs> yeah. you are? But I re- funny enough, I recently connected with both my old drum and yeah. guitar teacher. And we had a good chat and stuff. And it was it was nice to sort of see the, 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 the uh, like how far I've come from being eight years old, oh. picking up a guitar for the first time. And I didn't know that you played other instruments. Yeah, yeah. That's so cool. Do you not think when you go from like guitar to piano or something, you feel like you're speaking two different languages? Because it's the same sound, but it's played differently. Yeah, it's mad. It's I mean, weird. You I feel think, like bilingual or something? Yeah, so I think it's that, Yeah, <laughs> I think when, to be honest, I, I found, so, so my me, me, me cousin, uh, she plays the piano, but doesn't know, like, what to, like, doesn't know where to start with the guitar. Right. But for me, and this might just be me, this might, I, I don't know, do you know what I mean? I'd have to start a poll on Instagram or something like that. I think when I when I knew the guitar, I knew the chords. It was easier to it pick up. It was easier to play the piano yeah. and the drums. The I think drums you've got, just, once you get one instrument down, some of the rules are quite the same. Yeah. For, for other definitely, instruments, yeah, when you definitely. go like thirds and fifths and harmonies and stuff yeah, like that, yeah. it all works. So I agree with you, like once you play one instrument, yeah. but then maybe like... Starting on the piano is different because when you start on strings, that's sort of the harder instrument that's to, it, yeah. to crack. That's it, yeah. So maybe you just had the, the upper the hand nah. there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are you as a musical family? Um, no football, football. As, you, as, as you know yeah, yourself. Yeah. Very football. I mean, don't get me wrong. We all a family. My dad's side, at least, all love like you know Stereophonics and Oasis and Liam Gallagher. Yeah. They all love to listen to it. And my cousin Jay Hugh, who, who, who plays professional football, he's actually learned the guitar. And, Very um, good. Fuck, it, must be a wee bit of a musical yeah, family. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit, but just thinking now, I think it's only really me who's gone down and released. Uh, the, one of my other cousins, she, she gigs and stuff. Uh, she sings to her back in track, whereas I sort of have gone down the release of music. The songwriting. And stuff like that. Yeah. So, and is yeah. the family supportive? Do they think like, yes, get it, go? Yeah. Yeah, I think um, I think me me last two headliners that I've done, they were already sold out before any of the general public could even get there. Do you know what I mean? They just yeah, it's great. It's good, 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 good support. Like especially when good it's good when such you a have big, your family behind you course, for course, sure. Yeah. Oh Belfast, I miss you in the mornings. Oh Belfast, when you call with that warning. Oh Belfast. I miss the way you dance in the wind Oh Belfast Your lights are so pretty Oh Belfast When you tell me that you miss me Oh Belfast I can't help but come back again some people's parents will be like, get a real job, come on. No, yeah, and like, I, I'd point out my me, me, me mum especially for that, I think. Big up mum. Big up mumsy. Yeah, she's class, yeah. she's great. We but love I mama. Think, yeah. She said hello before, by the way. Ah, oh, nice one. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like, don't get me wrong, if, if something's bad, she will tell me. Yeah, but, well, she. Yeah, yeah. Ruthless. But, like, My mum's the same, like. Yeah, but. the best way to be, in it. So you make proper, yeah. proper people. But yeah. I think... Um, no, the, the amount that she's done for me, my mum, you know, like paying for me guitar lessons, drum lessons, paying yeah. me for piano lessons, and you know everything she's done, she's paid for, you know, I, I don't know, like she paid, she's just face. been a mom, like yeah, she's stood me behind face, you, bit of merch and yeah, bought, oh, I should say, and stuff like such that. Such a so, good mom. Yeah, same mom and me. We love she's her. Yeah. She's a good girl, isn't she? Yeah. Um. So I'm gonna ask you just be fun questions. Yeah. Course, Musical yeah. guilty pleasures. Taylor Swift love story. 
Really? Put that on in a car with just me and I'll, I'll belt it out, you know. Disappointed, kid. Like to a psychotic level. Wow. What is it about Taylor Swift that everyone loves at the minute? Are you Swifty? No. I think you're It's just secretly. that song. You're secretly a I, I promise you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm honestly not. I don't get, I don't get. You just love singing about Romeo? Yeah. Do <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't get the big. The big hype. I mean, I think she's doing great. She's smashing Yeah, it. she's a, and she's a very kind yeah, lady. I'd never, I'd never knock anyone doing that. Absolutely. But it's, I don't get the, the entourage behind it. Yeah. But me love either. story, put it on. I'm staying it to the max volume in the car. Are you a country boy at heart? Yeah. Yeah. I love, the, I love a bit of country. Yeah. yeah. What's your favorite genre? Um, I'd, I'll give you two. I think, as probably people know from the music I release and stuff, probably rock and roll, mm-hmm. Beatles, Oasis type thing. But I do love, a, I have got a country side. I love Luke yeah. Holmes and, you know. All Don't forget about like your Irish stuff as well, kid. No, I mean. You're, you're good at that. I mean, that's, that's, that's a, I think that's a, I think there's two. You've got music and you've got Irish. It's in a different league. It's a different sort, sort, of, I mean? sort of vibe, yeah, isn't it? So Completely. It's, big up, it's on its own. Big up, big up the Irish music, but. When you yeah. first got gigging, like, how did that happen for you? Where was your first gig? How did it come around? So, me first, so so I was in Only Fools Bar, which I know was you know was, was that your first Well, gig I did the open mic night with Mr. Yeah. Owen Brown, yeah. who, uh, shout out to him, because he shout sort, out of, he sort <laughs> of helped me on my way, as well as you, as well as yeah. yourself. And, you know, I, I did the open mic, and um, I played a few, and then I played Don't Look Back in Anger by Oasis. And... Luckily, everyone had just come in at that time of night. Jewelry. I'm not saying it was all me. It was it all was, you, it was baby. A, no, I mean, it was a bit of luck, but yeah. everyone come in and everyone was just... just That's the, a good song for people to come yeah, into. Well, That's a crowd pleaser. Well, it was just the... Everyone was just the amount, a right, right amount of drunk. You know what I mean? They had just the right amount of alcohol and Perfect. the room was bouncing. And um, Craig, obviously, the owner, who I know, you know, come over and was like, I'm going to... Um, I'm gonna give you start a few gigs and stuff like that. So that's where it sort of starts. Only seventeen. Don't yeah. tell. Don't tell Craig <laughs> that. But yeah. And you've been on loads of festivals and sort of big lineups and stuff. Like, how do you get on those lineups? Do people get in contact with you? Do you get in contact with them? Yeah. So at first, so I did my first headlines in in, in the Jack Jacaranda and on, on just off Seal Street. Mm-hmm. Um, I sold that out thanks to. Like, the family that we've just mentioned and unreal. Um, yeah, so I start I started with that, and then after that, I was I had the promoter. I I love live events. Shout out to them as well. And yeah, they they've always been very good to me, and they, they put me on uh, Sound City on the same stage yeah. as Jamie Webster. You've been, um, you've been on that once or twice, haven't you? So I yeah. think three times three now. Times? Yeah, yeah. Wow. But the first year was like before Jamie Webster and. Red Rum Club and that was a massive day in Grand what Central. What an achievement. Yeah. That's really it was cool. unbelievable but I'd say by f- by far the best. I, I really love the Laddams. Like yeah. I absolutely adore the lads and um I, I got I got to, to support them three times on their tour You're last joking. year. Oh my god. And I, I I remember doing the announcement video. Couldn't even speak. I was that excited. Oh my god. I did I did the first two with them in Blackburn and Hull. And how did you get on that? Like did they just it was through I Love Live again, they, they saw it, so. And then the third one was in Blackpool, a bit close to home. Some of the family come to that and some of my mates. And after it, um, I went up, I went backstage with them. The backstage, it was a mad little stage. The backstage was like a flat upstairs. Okay. And I went upstairs and, and I met them and wow. they say don't meet your heroes, but yeah. they were absolutely unbelievable with me. Yeah. Uh, would you say that's probably your like standout gig that you've ever done? Yeah. Your best one? The, well, not the Blackpool one, it was... The Blackburn one. I'm getting confused. I love Black. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, Blackburn was was. I think it's the biggest gig I've ever done. I think it was a thousand people. Wow. And um, things thousand, like that. They're so intimate yeah, as well. Yeah, and a thousand people. A thousand people s- actually listening. Yeah, but then screaming just a, after a, it. Just obviously the the, the, the football chant called <sighs> Rune Rune. Oh. I was nearly like. I was so emotional coming out of it, getting back in the car to go home. I'd have been I, sobbing. I, I, nearly, I nearly, was nearly there. I was ne- nearly there, not honestly. Yeah. Like, I'm getting, getting a bit weird. Too. I was like, no, cry, now, but, just cry. Yeah. I'll cry with you. <laughs> it was, uh, yeah, it was unbelievable, yeah. Has that been, do you think, like, the pinnacle of your career so far? Like, do you think, like, that's been my um, best bit so far? Yeah. 
I'd probably say so. Anything else come to mind? Uh, Sound City was good. All the Sound Cities have been good. Um, my first headliner was obviously great, but that, I think the only other thing that probably comes to mind is um, I do some some sort of Everton stuff as well, and I sing at Everton and I'm on Everton, like TikTok with Everton. And yeah, plug that little yeah, podcast yeah, and yeah. stuff. Yeah, and um, that's sort of as close as I get to a whole room singing yeah. the song back. Not, it's obviously not one of my own, but it's the closest I'll get for now anyway. Yeah. Because um, obviously I'm still an upcoming artist and when people sing back like heaven songs to me, it yeah. gives you that sort of yeah, sense. Yeah, of course. It, it makes it put Even a smile Even when you're on singing your face, a cover so. and people are singing the words back, you're like, yeah, yeah, ah, yeah, yeah that's, it, that's it. So, yeah. <laughs> it makes you feel good, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. It makes totally you feel valued good. in what you're doing. Obviously, it's uh, obviously a recent uh, event in, in my life that you know about is people say there's obviously nothing better than. But second to that, I think having a full room sing a song back to you is yeah. probably a close second. A hundred percent. That's amazing. Slowly walking down the hall Faster than a cannonball Where were you while we were getting high Someday you will find me Caught beneath the landslide In a champagne supernova in the sky Someday you will find me caught beneath the landslide in a champagne supernova. A champagne supernova. Is there like anything that you've got on the pipeline coming up? Any like releases, song wise, or any headliners? Yeah, gigs? so I have got I have got a certain something in the pipeline. I'm not going to say too much because I tend to jinx it. Um, it's cu- Give it's, us a little exclusive. <laughs> so it's not an. All, all I'll say because I, I do have a mad ten like tendency to jinx myself. Get excited and just like listen <laughs> yeah, to this. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I won't say too much. It's still very early days, but. It's something completely different to Ryan Rooney stuff. It's cool. uh, I'm gonna I'm I'm something in the pipe that's all I'm gonna say. Something okay, I'm excited to hear this. Pipeline, yeah. Excited to hear yeah. this. We'll ask you some like well funny questions before you go. Yeah. Um mm, I think I asked you your musical unpopular opinions. Have I asked you that? No. Go on. Unpopular Have you got opinions. any? I've, I've probably got quite a few to be honest. Um <laughs> Popular opinions. Um, I don't know actually. Now that I think of it, any funny gig stories? Anything embarrassing ever happened to you on stage? Or oh, I've had loads. Or have you ever seen like an audience member and you're like, oh my god, I'm gonna die laughing at them? Like yeah, I've been flashed like oh yeah. So what happens in a life women. of a rock star? Like, <laughs> yeah, I've been like funny enough like. Um, like one time I was in the Irish house and I got flashed and all I'll say is I'll, I'm lucky that a certain someone's at the back of the room and not looking out into the crowd, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah, I've been, I've had drinks spilt on me. Um, I've had some terrible gigs where my voice just has not worked and there was no sound. I was singing but there was no sound on the microphone. That was like a proper gig as well. That went like a gig in town. Oh, it was like, like a like a headline. Like oh. Where people have bought tickets. Um, <laughs> when I was when I was like do, doing sort of a, a little workshop thing with the with a singing group. So it weren't an original, but yeah, I've had some I've had some mad ones. Um Any festival tales? Have you ever been to any festivals? Um do you know what? I actually haven't. I've been to loads of concerts and stuff like that. But I've actually never been to a either. proper festival. The only festivals I've been to is the ones I've sang at. Yeah, <laughs> but I apply for Gasto every year. Do you? Yeah. I don't have the balls to. No, yeah. Get you. I get so scared when it comes to my own music. <laughs> and then I'm so jealous of all you. has been like so confident with it. I'm yeah. like, oh, I wish I had that. Well, yeah, well, you can, you, can have, you can have the little stage, can't you? Yeah. But I, I, well, I mean, I don't know if I can't have the little stage or not. <laughs> yeah, do you know what I mean? To be honest, like the... The, the only reason I do it is so I can just go go, watch, go, go just to get, Glasgow yeah, yeah. <laughs> because the tickets yeah. I apply for the tickets normal tickets every year as well never get one so I don't think anyone does unless so you're so that's the reason <laughs> yeah that's the reason I am um, I apply I'll probably turn up there and not end up doing the gig and just yeah. go and watch you know what I mean yeah he was a no show yeah. <laughs> you in the crowd yeah. <laughs> right well yeah. before I let you go I just want to say thank you so much for coming and playing for us and sitting chatting away to me no, it's yeah. been a pleasure no honestly it's um 
just want to say thank you to you and You're everyone welcome. who's involved and it was lovely to finally have a catch up with you. I know, I haven't seen it's been too long, while, so. too long. We'll get you on yeah, again as yeah, well. 100%. Thank you so much, Ryan. Thank you. Thank you.